What's up everyone? It's your girl Stephanie and today we have a favorites. I've been wanting to do a favorites for a minute and I feel like if anything we can do it seasonally. So this is my spring favorites. I've definitely uh, been depending on a few products. Coming into spring, I am already feeling the effects of the pollen, all the new growth that is happening. It's really showing up in my face, especially the last couple days and today. I just woke up irritated. We're gonna talk about a bunch of products, uh, mostly skincare, a couple makeup that my skin has agreed with, especially right now where I am irritated. There's inflammation. I have to be really particular about what kind of products I put on my face. So if you're a sensitive eczema prone person, you might be interested in some of the products I'm about to talk about. We are also talking about clothes, got home goods, a couple electronics. So let's first talk about a fabric that my skin agrees with, and that is Silk. This video is in partnership with Lily Silk. I have had a previous partnership with Lily Silk. It was a while ago, and I still wear items from that video, I think like weekly. Silk does not irritate my skin. I don't know if you can see here, um, my neck has been really itchy. I feel like it's really like pollen spring irritation when my neck is really itchy. Does that happen to any of y'all? Anyways, when that's happening, you just don't want anything near your skin that will irritate it and silk is very nice on the skin. So let's just start off with, oh, <laughs> smack myself, with this big boy here. This is a king-sized silk pillowcase. This is a stretch premium silk. There are no colorants. And one of their like, you know, descriptions of this pillow is that it's softer than the standard silk pillowcase. I actually feel a difference. It is so much softer. Silk is hypoallergenic, so it's really great for sensitive skin. Again, no colorants, no dyes, so nothing to irritate your skin there. And this pillow is very interesting because it's actually a zip closure. And inside, we have a little pocket here. It's so you can fold it up and travel with it, which I think is so cool. It's not bulky or anything, so you don't notice this little pocket when you're sleeping. So you can obviously use it for every day, not just travel. Every time I go to a hotel, there is that kind of like second of thinking, do I really wanna stick my face on this pillow? Because the only barrier between you and every single other person who slept on that pillow is like a piece of fabric. Ugh, okay. Sometimes I start thinking it and I have to erase it from my head because it's, it's just too gross to think about. I'm just gonna start bringing my own pillowcase. It's so smart. So here we have the pillowcase, which is typically, it's behind the other pillows, but I couldn't have just like, one pillow in the back and then one here. Does that make sense? Anyways, okay, so let's talk about the item that I got from Lily Silk last time that I still use weekly and that is their bra. And this also comes in a set with some underwear. This is one size fits most. And when I initially got it, I was like, how is that gonna be possible? Is it gonna support me? It is such a comfortable and supportive bra. It comes with these little cups in here, actually. I have extras. They give you an extra pair of cups. So you have four cups that they give you. It has a little bit extra padding underneath. So with this, you really have some support. But I generally now uh, take them out. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> The other one that I have because it's it's just not as nice looking as this one, obviously, which is brand new. I, I was wearing it a couple days ago, so there's like a little bit of deodorant marks on it. So anyways, I actually take out the cups generally, and this is my favorite at-home bra. It has really wide straps. They're fixed straps, no adjustments. I never get tired shoulders. Um, the back is... Something that I really didn't acknowledge earlier, it has very full coverage on the back. So you're not gonna get any weird lumps and bumps, you know, from the straps digging in. It's very seamless and really one of my most comfortable bras that I wear at home. So now 
I am currently wearing it. It is on my body. This is their silk tank top that has a built-in bra. This one has adjustable straps. It's one size fits most, again, 100% um, silk knitted fabric, so it's suitable for sensitive skin. Really supportive without being uncomfortable. I know that this has skinny straps compared to the wide straps, but it doesn't dig in. I even fell asleep with this on the other day and I wore it all night and sometimes, you know, when I fall asleep in a sports bra or something on accident, I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to like, <laughs> wrangle it off, but I slept throughout the night with this on. I really didn't notice it. Right now we're having that in between winter, spring weather where some days it's getting warmer, but others it's a little bit crisp. I'm still wearing sweaters every day, but later this week, it's supposed to be like in the mid seventies in LA. So with that said, we got to go with a nice new robe for spring. We have this silk mini robe in navy blue. I have the small here. I typically wear a robe when I'm like right out of the shower and I'm putting on my skincare, putting some like products in my hair and stuff. And something that really irks me about other robes is when the arms are just too long or restrictive. Like they could be short, but they're kind of small so you lift your arms and everything gets disheveled. This is so nice because it has really wide, <laughs> short arms. So it makes it very easy to move around. This is 22 mom or mame. Again, like last time, I've heard it pronounced both ways. So it's a high quality silk, very glossy really, really soft against the skin. It just feels really nice. And oh, we have the cami underneath it. So I'm gonna toss this over here. We have a little silk white cami. It's a cowl neck. I have it in a size six here. I initially tried this on without a bra on and I was like, okay, this is, I think this is good. And then I put on my strapless bra later because obviously it has spaghetti straps and it definitely is tighter across the chest for me. So if you're a 34, D, maybe go to a size eight in terms of this top. That was definitely my bad because I wasn't taking into consideration the roundness <laughs> of my like strapless bustier. But anyways, if I'm going out for dinner or drinks or anything, it's usually just a tank top and pants, leather pants, regular jeans. This is a 22 mom stretch double Georgette. Just meaning that there's a, a bit of stretch to the silk. This is definitely a kind of top that I would purchase for myself because it is a, a basic, but a little bit elevated. I would get a lot of use out of it and it's worth the money. Okay, so last thing from Lily Silk is this sweater. And obviously it's kind of unexpected, Lily Silk. You don't expect other materials, but they have a bunch of knitwear that is so nice. This is 100% merino wool. This is the Gilly sweater. I have this in the size small. It is so soft. I feel like this is comparable to cashmere, the way that it feels because it doesn't irritate my skin. Again, so soft. If you are a knitwear fan, I think you would know that merino wool is just really high quality. It's like the best wool that you can get pretty much. But sometimes it can be really itchy. This one is not. I've worn it multiple times now. This is my most worn sweater since I've gotten it like a month ago. This is a really classic drop shoulder, very relaxed silhouette. I don't really have any sweaters, I don't think, that have this kind of neckline too. It's really nice. Wool has natural properties in it that absorb odor causing bacteria, so it prevents it from multiplying. So <laughs> pretty much you can work up a little sweat in this and it's not going to uh, expand. In conclusion, I love this brand. You want high quality, really comfortable basics, Lily Silk. Knitwear, really nice knitwear, Lily Silk. I do have a couple coupon codes for you. They'll be in the description box, but one in particular is an extra 12% off everything with the code Stephanie V. Yeah, make sure to check out the description box for the additional code. Let's talk about some skincare, okay? First of all, I actually really need to use some lotion. I don't know what I would have done over this last year without this hand cream. This is the Skin Fix Eczema Plus 
Hand Repair Cream, clinically proven to help treat eczema, dry cracked skin on hands, improve skin moisturization by 111%. Oh. It has 1% colloidal oatmeal, 5% sweet almond oil. I was gonna do like a whole video on eczema products. I feel like this is pretty much it, but I guess that video could be like additional practices for people with eczema. Um, I have a bin of at least 20 different hand lotions that I've tried. Most are not good, some are okay, but nothing as compared to this one for me. The reason why this one is just so amazing, obviously it's made for eczema, doesn't irritate your skin, and I think it's really made for the person who has to put lotion on over and over again all day. I can't like wash my hands and then let my hands chill unlotioned for a long time, otherwise these cracks are gonna happen. There are a couple hand lotions that have even been recommended to me by uh, a dermatologist for the daytime, and it goes in the skin and then it just feels like so dry. We do have a bit of a lotion feel, but it's not oily, it's not too much. It absorbs into the skin, but it's not gone. It stays on my skin till I wash it the next time. Doesn't have a yucky residue. In terms of other products by Skin Fix, this is their Eczema Plus Dermatitis Face Balm. This one has 5% colloidal oatmeal in there. You can see I have this slow guy. I think I've probably gone through like five of these. I have a new one lined up already. I initially was trying to find a product that I could use <laughs> like around the skin, around my eyes, because I was getting very, very inflamed, very irritated, and I just needed something to cool it down, you know, when it's so itchy but painful, and I needed something that would be safe around my eyes. This is the product that I started using, and it was just, it's just immediate relief. It is a balm, it's just gonna stay on your skin and I started using it on my hands, especially on these areas that are cracked or really irritated, because obviously it's like on the top of my hands. So it's okay in the daytime for me to have this kind of product chilling on the tops of my hands and my knuckles and stuff. So I very regularly use that on my hands as well as my face. I don't put it underneath makeup. I do have an oil product that I put underneath makeup, um, so this is more of like if I'm at home, no makeup on, and of course in the evening. This is yet another product that is clutch during the season. This is the Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This one's accepted by the National Eczema Association, the happy solution for angry skin. Soothe, purify, and renew. SOS helps seriously soothe stressed out skin. Even right now, and I guess I just live with it because it's so normal in my everyday, like I feel the itchiness on my face. And the more I talk about it, obviously, the itchier I feel. That is actually an upside of wearing makeup is that I won't itch my face. I'll like do this. Oh, that feels nice. And that gives me some relief, but I won't like go in. Another thing that gives me relief so that I don't itch my face is this spray right here. So I'll use it continuously like whenever throughout the day. It's okay on top of makeup. And it's just this spray that is so refreshing and especially for itchiness on my neck and chest, so much relief. Tower 28 also has a serum that I am out of, I've gone through two of them, which is the same line as this. I would very much recommend that one too. It is really watery, so I feel like you feel like, whoa, what's going on here? But it is very, very soothing on the skin. So this is my newest addition. This is the Tata Harper Super Kind Bio Shield Face Oil. I've used a lot of Tata Harper products in the past. They are definitely a staple in my skincare, but when all this you know, sensitivity happened, I had to step away from, from those uh, because I just needed to be very simple, like no strong fragrances, no nothing. Tata Harper actually doesn't add any fragrance to their products. It's just a result of the ingredients that are already 
in the product. But in any case, I didn't want to put anything on my skin that would make it any worse. I'm not sure when she came, this is like a very more recent line, her super kind line, which is really dialed down specifically made for sensitive skin. There are other products from the line, like um, the two cleansers. One is an exfoliant, which is really nice. I use both of them. The exfoliating one really is like the only ex physical exfoliant that I have been using because I got a lot of dead skin going on, but I don't want to irritate it. That one is really nice. Um, I also just really recently started using the Fortifying Moisturizer. Again, no reaction to that. This one is like hypoallergenic, free from fragrances, essential oils, and 85 plus common allergens and irritants. It helps to rejuvenate reactive skin, and I definitely agree with that. It's a dry oil, and especially on this cheek where I have a lot of uh, flakiness and itchiness, it gives me so much relief. My skin type before all this is oily oily and i never thought i would do this but i use this in the daytime no matter how good your foundation is or you know your concealer if you have a lot of texture a lot of flakiness dry skin it's gonna show this product just really helps keep all the flakiness down as much as possible if there's any product currently for me out of the super kind line that you should try it's definitely this face oil i started adding this next product into my routine and it just feels so nice, but it makes a huge difference in um, my skin underneath my eyes. And that is the Sereni Eye Patches. These are silicone reusable eye shields. And actually, Sereni is my sister and Chloe Morello's brand, FYI. Very, very proud of them. Very proud of my sister. And to be honest, before this, I... I've used some eye patches, ones that have their own built-in serums. That kind of weirded me out a little bit. That is a very sensitive zone to stick something to. And you know, what if that product that's in that patch doesn't agree with me? So I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't really use those too much. When these patches came out and I was talking to my sister about how I was having, you know, obviously a lot of issues, she told me that I should put on my products use the shield and what it does is it really helps to lock in the moisture. It allows any products that you use underneath your eyes to really soak into the skin. When she told me to do this, I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And I really saw a difference, especially when I use them in the daytime before makeup. So I'll do my whole skincare thing, my eye cream that I put around, then I'll stick this on for a few minutes. It really does just help to extra moisturize underneath my eyes. And so when I apply concealer under there, it doesn't get stuck into dry patches or into some of the fine lines that are starting to occur right underneath there. It really helps to create a smooth canvas, if you will. I'm very proud of my sister and Chloe for making such a useful and reusable product. I have two um, makeup items to show you. I guess this, this is a hybrid. It's almost like skincare plus makeup. This is the Euphoria Pre-Game Protective Primer. <laughs> I have another one lined up, but this bottle is really great. I'm getting every single drop, I feel like, out of this without having to cut it. Kudos to Euphoria, first of all for creating packaging like this. So this primer, honestly, it really does feel like you're just putting on some sort of skincare. A bit more of a silky feel to it, but not a silicone feel. And I think one of their main talking points about this is that this is a product that helps to seal your skincare in. And it's composed of these like micromolecules that are very flexible. So it creates a just nice smooth, canvas that's not gonna have any cracks or anything later on in the day. And I will definitely attest like this makes my makeup last longer, does not irritate my skin. Foundation and concealer applies way better on top of this than other primers. It says it reduces redness and itchiness at the skin's neurosensory level. I just think this is a really great primer. I know it has very good reviews online too. I will definitely recommend looking into this one. We have 
this Fenty foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in 190. This is a foundation that I pretty recently started using. I feel like I just didn't give this foundation a chance when it came out, or maybe my skin was just really different back then. But with how my skin is now, it has like performed so much better than four or five other foundations that I've tried and tinted moisturizers that I've tried to use um, on top of the flakiness. If you are having dry flaky skin, this is great. As a base, a very thin layer significantly helps to just reduce the redness all over my face and it does not stick to the dry patches in a very intense way that a lot of foundations can. I just feel like it is a soft matte. The texture is just really nice, lightweight, doesn't irritate my skin, lasts obviously all day long with the other things that I use. The concealer that I use is the classic Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in Custard. This is just a staple in my makeup, I feel like in so many people's, I always come back to this. I think it's been at least 10 years of using this concealer. But if the foundation underneath isn't good, this isn't gonna perform the way it should. This combination right here, really, really great for my cheeks and for everywhere else. Oh, I have another Fenty product actually. This is what's on my lips. This is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. See, sweetheart. 03. It's a really great match for my lips. I don't lather it all over my lips. I just put it on the center area and I dab it out and it really does have a nice velvety texture to it. So if you want that more blurred out look, very easy to do with this. I really love the color and the texture of this product. It does really just give that velvety finish to the lips. What I'll also use on top is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood. It just has the cutest little applicator and it's so squishy. <laughs> it's very nice to put on. I definitely wear this on its own, but I just add a little bit to the centers to add some more moisture. It's not the most long wear combo, but my lips feel moisturized. And even when the oil dissipates a bit, my lips are still looking fine. They're not like, Mummy lips or something. <laughs> Mummy lips, how do I think about that? This area is starting to creep up on me. I need to back up a little bit. Okay, we have three more items, kind of like random from each other, but it's just a new thing that I've gotten. This is the Our Place Popped. Look how cute it is. Like always, we have a little spoon here. This one is different. It's rounded up top compared to the other ones. This is just a perfect size, especially for a single person, I feel like, for single people <laughs> portions. Both sides have a little lip. I'm left-handed and I've never had a pot that has a lip for me. If you're right-handed, you know, I feel like typically you have the pot in your right hand and then you pour it out like that. The, the, the lip is always on this side, which is very awkward for me. But now there's a lip for me on this side so I can pour it out. I think that's so thoughtful. I don't think that all pots that have lips like these put it on both sides. Let me know if I'm crazy, maybe they do. I have a couple R Place pans, they're going strong. Such good cookware. So I got it in this like sage green, but they have a bunch of different colors to choose from. If you're just looking for a perfect pot, we got it right here. Go to R Place. Did you know that Josie's been behind me the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> this is a power bank and you're like, okay, who cares? It's a MagSafe one. I never utilized the MagSafe thing in my phone. Even I just bought my first MagSafe charger. I don't know why I never did it, but obviously sticks right to it. And you can get ones that are much thinner, but what's cool about this one it has a little stand. It's not like this is a specific brand as well. It's uh, from Amazon, so it's kind of like a random brand, but it's been doing well for me. It's just really useful that you can do this. It's just the simple things. Horizontal, vertical, whatever. 
So it's just a nice little stand. Another thing that is kind of in the same realm, not really, is this little lamp from Amazon, a rechargeable little light. I feel like more and more of these are coming out. The design is really cool. It's made out of uh, metal. If you have it on the lowest setting, there's three settings. The lowest, it can last, don't quote me on this, for 48 hours. My dining table, I have lights above it, but they're recessed lights. But sometimes you just want that mood lighting. I purchased it recently and I've been getting some good use out of it. So I thought I would share it with y'all. I think that's it for this list of my spring favorites. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you wanna see seasonal favorites, let me know. I feel like I said that in the last time I did this, but obviously I am um, making more videos and I've been excited about making videos. So if you do wanna see more favorites, please let me know. Or if these kind of videos don't really interest you, you could tell me that too, but you're the one who watched all the way to the end. So thank you to Lily Silk for partnering with me in this video. Again, check the description box for the coupon codes. And of course, everything else that I talked about in this video will be linked down below. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.